Many men want to know what it takes to be an alpha male. Or they ask, what's an alpha male? Many people have different ideas about what it means to be an alpha male. But all of these ideas are based on an old idea of what it means to be an alpha male. Most of these ideas are based on what a gorilla with a big chest thinks an alpha is. And yes, some of these things are important, but the alpha is more than that in the modern world. This article is an abstract look at what I think it takes to be a modern alpha and how I see them. One problem with the old view of alpha is that many people who are seen as alpha only are in some parts of their lives. For example, you might see a strong guy at the gym who looks scary, but when he's with a woman, he's like a little dog who follows orders. Or, neither his personal life nor his work life is very impressive. Most people's ideas about the alpha are out of date. My view of the alpha, which I'll talk about in this video, is a balanced, all-around idea of what a modern alpha male should be like. Compared to the old, narrow, and out-of-date idea of an alpha male, it's a broad idea. What's an alpha male? How to be the leader? I've already said that the old way of thinking about the alpha is going away. The world has changed, and you either have to change with it or be left behind. When I talk about being an alpha, I'm talking about what it means to be a man with a lot of value. This high-value male is an alpha because he has all the traits of an alpha. So let's look at how to be an alpha male in more depth. Alpha male characteristics equals alpha mindset. The main idea is that being alpha is a state of mind. This alpha mindset is built on a few core ideas. First, let's look at the first one. To win in life, you have to make a choice. A lot of so-called alpha males in the world are losers. Even though they might be tough, their lives are average and messy. They have trouble in their relationships, and their women often tell them what to do. But what's worse is that they lose in the most important part of life, which is being a pro at this game of life. They don't do anything great, don't get rich, and don't make a difference in their community. No one can remember their names. So, if you want to become a real alpha, you need to draw a line in the sand and decide to win in life. And don't get me wrong, it's a choice. You have to decide that you won't take no for an answer and that you won't just sit back and let life happen to you. You will be aggressive and attack. But even more important, you will know how to do it well. You won't be like a mindless robot. You will learn how to plan, how to act, and how to prepare both mentally and physically. Then you will do what you say and shape reality to fit your will. Because you will is what will make you different from most people. You go above and beyond what people expect of you because you're hungry. That inner drive is what makes you do the work even when no one is looking. Changes in the mind. Taking charge of your mind is the second step to becoming alpha. The most powerful thing you have is your mind. You have to learn how to develop and then change your mind. If you are reading this, you already know there are things you could do better. Some of you might be in a tough spot in life where you need to make big changes. Well, you're in the right place, because this website has the structure and plan you need to do that. First of all, you need to realize that we live in a time when outside forces are always trying to change our minds. The human mind is the most powerful tool in the known universe for achieving goals. But it's also a very good place for new ideas to grow. The ideas come in many different forms. Some are from big companies, the government, schools, universities, and even friends. These influences could come from people or online sources like social media, TV, music, and other websites. In the end, most people don't realize that the mind is much more open to planting seeds than they think. Every day, people are being brainwashed without their knowing it. Most people don't realize how much power their minds have and how it can be used against them. But if you study the mind and learn how it works, you can turn it into a very powerful weapon that you can control. Yes, getting to this point will take work and discipline, but it is possible. Once you know how to control your mind and master it, you become a very powerful man who can do anything. This is what the alpha is built on. A mind that is smarter than most people. Stop asking to do things. Now it's time to move on to the next important step in becoming a modern alpha male. It's a change in how you think about things. You need to change your way of thinking and stop asking permission. Stop looking at what's going on around you and start looking at what most people on earth are doing. Turn off the part of your mind that tells you to go ask for permission before you do something. It's time to start leading men. It's time to become the kind of man whom people can count on and respect. A man who decides for himself. There's nothing wrong with hanging out with other alpha men who are also trying to be the best versions of themselves. But you have to walk alone before you can join forces and make teams. This is an important part of becoming an alpha. Whoever takes a chance wins. 
most people around the world don't take risks. They think that a risk-free life will give them everything they want. They think that their dreams will come true if they play from a safe place. But it never happens, and these people don't know why. Here's the truth. Nothing great has ever been done in life without taking risks. You have to be willing to take risks that make sense. You can't win if you're not willing to lose. If you never take risks in life, you will always lose. Before I stopped messing around with life, nothing changed in my own life. I tried a few things. I would sit next to the stream of life and watch how the water moves. I would put my foot in the water sometimes. But then the water would feel too cold, so I would take it out and go back to safety. Not until I reached a certain point. I jumped into the stream and submerged myself in the cold water when I was at the end of my rope in life. The water was cold, but it woke me up, and all of a sudden I was playing this game of life on a whole new level. I was no longer part of the crowd. I was now a player. I didn't just play for fun. I played to win. I was taking risks, but they weren't stupid ones. I was okay with losing. I didn't want to lose, but I was willing to lose to win in the end. Who dares wins is the key to getting what you want, I realized. I also know that these words are an important part of the alpha mindset. Alphas take risks, they lead, and they know that anything they want in life will require them to make sacrifices and risk losing. You can't win if you don't have the chance to lose. If this idea makes you feel excited, you have an alpha spark. So jump into the cold water of life and learn to live with it. Remember that messing around in life won't get you anywhere, but playing the game of life at a high level will. Follow the warrior's code. In today's world, where men live in a state of mediocrity and chaos, it's easy to look around and ask, what the fuck happened? It's easy to find something bad about everything. But there is a way for us to be on top of everything and win. We do this straightforwardly and effectively. We go back to how things used to be. How a warrior lives. It's a way of life to be a warrior. It's a way of thinking that every man has deep down in his blood. You already have a warrior inside you. All you have to do is bring it out. It will give you focus, discipline, courage, and a clear mind. It's a way to look at the world that will lead you to only one conclusion. When you accept the way of the warrior and find yourself in a world of chaos and men with no rules, you realize that you don't have to be part of the problem. You know this because you live in a world that is different from this one. So, the way of the alpha is a set of rules about how to act. This means getting your body and mind ready for any kind of conflict that might come your way. Living this way will give you a sense of strength and purpose. The alpha is a monk who fights. Zen maintenance. A lot of people try to change their lives, but soon they find themselves back where they started. The circle of chaos happens because most people don't understand how important one of the most powerful laws in the known universe is. Since the beginning of human history, this idea has been used to build and maintain civilizations. This idea is called maintenance. Zen maintenance is the key to being successful in the long run. If you don't live up to the standards you set for yourself in any part of your life, I promise you that you will lose everything. Maintenance must become a way of life in all parts of life. It's the modern alpha's way of doing things well. How to date women and make friends. Men, the truth is that women will play a big role in their lives. How much of that influence will be good and how much will be bad is the question. For most men, this is the truth. When women are a part of their lives, they lose all of their power. So, the influence usually causes sadness and, a lot of the time, chaos. All you have to do is look at the divorce rate in modern times to see that most men have no idea what they are doing when it comes to women. A man with an alpha mindset knows how women work and knows that if he doesn't make smart choices with women, his whole life could go crazy. So, the alpha must first learn what women are really like, and then he must learn how to be a master with women. Next, he needs to learn how to make good choices when it comes to dating and relationships. The alpha has finally learned the most important thing of all. The most important thing in your life is not being a woman. Your mission comes first. The risk of being an alpha or beta. Last, a word of caution. I know a lot of men who start as alphas or become alphas but then lose everything. Why do they give up everything? Well, they give in to the power that beautiful women have over them. They forget what they've learned, and they don't have the strength to tell women no. One big reason for this is that many guys become alphas to get the girl. But when they become alpha, for the first time in their lives, a high value, beautiful woman, 9 or 10, pays attention to them. And all of a sudden, the power of her beauty is too much for them, so they turn into alpha betas. 
when you see them again in a few years, they are back to being full-time beta males in a position where they could lose everything because they gave in to their weaknesses. You have to know that being the leader means you will be tested. Alphas live in this kind of world. The world will put you to the test. And as an alpha, you have to be strong like a mountain and let the ocean go around you. Don't let the ocean swallow you up under any circumstances. Courage. Conclusion. So, these are my general ideas about what it means to be a modern alpha. It is a good thing to be a modern alpha. It's something to aim for and a reminder to keep getting better. To always be growing and getting better, and most importantly, to keep all of that going so you can leave a legacy.